You ever feel just a little bit intimidated when going to set up a tent? We've pulled one of our 20 by 20 weekender pull tents out of storage today to show you just how easy it can actually be. Remember, before laying out any tent top, you should be sure to lay out a ground tarp, just like the boys are doing in the video. This will protect the top from getting dirty or torn against the ground. You'll now be able to lay out your tent top in a square formation, aligning it so you can throw the legs in and throw it up. Make sure it is square, as Mark explains here. So, once you get that laid out, you're going to pull it square, then you're going to pull those ropes out perfect angles, okay? You know, a lot of times some people might think you want to bring the angles of a tent in to get it tighter. It won't work, because if you set a tent up that's not square, you'll never get it tight. With your tent top out, you'll now set your stakes. Your stakes will go out about three feet from the tent. The best way to ensure the distance is to use one of the leg pull halves, like seen in the video. Make sure that you're placing your stakes down at complete 90 degree angles from the tent top. As one person goes around hammering the stakes down, the other can begin sliding the leg poles together and laying them out into place around the tent perimeter. A 20x20 20 20 weekender pull tent has eight legs that run around the perimeter of the tent. We'll start by putting up the four corner legs first. You'll be able to lift your leg pull up in the designated corner space in the tent top, slowly standing up each corner. Make sure you're leaving enough slack on your ropes when you're tethering to the stakes, as you're going to have to adjust the legs again once all the poles are in place. Again, we can see that he'll loosely tether the ropes around the stakes and then lift the leg up, leaving enough slack on the ropes to ensure he can stand and move the tent leg around for right now. This, if we have, and this is, if you guys are out setting tents up this summer, if this is like this, this grommet will rip out. That has to be through there. Once all the perimeter legs are set correctly, we can build up the center pole and push it into place. You may need a second person's help with this step, especially on larger tents, as the top can get a bit heavy. Make sure that you get the center pole standing at a complete 90 degree angle once you've got it up in the air. Once the center pole is in place, you'll have to walk the perimeter one last time and tighten down the rest of the ropes and ensure all of your leg poles are stood up at 90 degree angles. Unfortunately, our setup was a tad off. Remember what Mark said earlier about squaring up your tent? Luckily, we were only slightly off and Mark was able to catch it and make the adjustment, but having an unsquare tent could force you to redo the entire setup as it will prevent you from truly being able to tighten the tent. A way that you can check your progress when you go is that when you start putting your legs in, make sure they line up perfectly and form a single line once stood up. Once your legs are up in the air and tightened down the way they should be, you're all set up for your event. So nothing that's too intimidating, right? As always, you can feel free to visit our website or give us a call with any questions you may have.